Welcome to Downriver Trip Planning. We're going to go over some trip organization and how to use Google Documents to get organized for your trip. So let's start by going to the Downriver website, downriverequip.com. This will bring you to Downriver's home page. From here, you can scroll to the bottom of the page under our company events 2018 will bring you to our full events page from here go ahead and click trip planning this is where we'll be posting all of the post event information um, there's a lot of information from this event for this video we're going to go over trip organization and look at these documents here is the complete google document along with uh, individual excel documents for each of the sheets we'll be going over but let's start by opening up this complete Google document. Now this is a read only copy designed for you to copy and paste over to your own Google document. So let's start by showing how to do that. So you're gonna select the area you wish to take over and either right click copy or control C. That'll highlight this box. Now we're gonna start a new Google Sheet. So an easy way to find Google Sheets is by simply typing in Google Sheets. Click the first available link um, and it'll ask you to go to Google Sheets. From there, you're gonna wanna start a new blank document, which will bring you to a spreadsheet format like this. Now pick a box to control V or paste your previous information in. Now this will resize the columns a bit, so you might have to drag uh, columns and rows over to resize. Um, but once you're here, this is now your document and you're able to share it with your river crew. So come up here to the top right, share. It's going to ask you to give your document a title. Save that. And now you can share this with as many people as you would like by entering email addresses or by sharing it as a link. Over here you can choose whether the other people in the document can comment, view, or edit on the document. For most trips, you're gonna to want to give them the ability to edit so that um, you can all work together on planning your trip. But for now, let's go back to that complete document and just kind of look over each of the sheets. For the main info page, I've started with a river name or nickname. I think that's a good way to keep your group organized, especially not if everyone on the trip is not familiar with one another. It's an easy way to learn names early on and helps keep things fun and organized. Now the rest of your information is going to be pretty pertinent. They will require this on your permit. So full name, addresses, phone number, date of birth, email address, boat is a very important one. This is how you start to visualize how much space is on your trip for gear and people and it's important to keep track of that as you go. Vehicles, I like to put on the first sheet just so you can start getting an idea of how many cars you're going to have headed out there. And remember, these are the skeleton versions of these documents, so feel free to edit and add whatever you think is necessary. I think a good one to add to this main info page might be an emergency contact column as well. So there's your main page. That's how you're going to start to fill up your trip. Let's move over here at the bottom. We've got all the tabs laid out. You can add a new tab by clicking this add sheet button. Um, but let's move over to our group gear checklist. Now, a good place to start for group gear is by checking out any information on the river you're gonna be running and seeing if they have any required gear. I like to start with that required gear and then scrolling down, move on to some of that more fun stuff like Frisbees and bocce ball, different games like that. Um, a good way to fill in these boxes is by color coding. So each person can have their own color, but go ahead and fill in your color here. And what's nice about coloring it is then you can still write over the box. So Spider has a blaster, and for more information, they're going to add one in here, letting the crew know that they have one blaster. And as this starts to fill out, it gives you a good visualization of who has what. Um, I also like to add a needs column here um, for gear that you're going to need to rent or borrow. Moving on, let's check out the menu and cook crew. The essentials of the menu page is making sure you've got the amount of meals for the trip laid out. It's nice to have the day as well, just so you can keep track of the overall trip, but the essentials are days and meals. 
From here, it's kind of trip leader freedom on how you want to set this up, but I personally like to set cook crews early on. I've color coded the cook crews here so that once I lay out the meals, um, it's easy to make sure people aren't cooking too many back-to-back -back meals or have too much kitchen responsibility in one day. Now the trip leader can pick the meals and fill them out or leave it open to the crew to go ahead and just come in and start signing up for meals as they go. But that's a good general outline of a meal plan. Moving on to group duties, for the simplicity of this document, I grouped the cook crews the same as the group duty crews. That way everyone keeps working together and there's no confusion on changing around crews. Uh, groover duty, dish duty, and camp duty. Camp duty is sort of the catch-all for setting up the fire, taking down the camp at the end of, uh, in the morning, and sort of miscellaneous duties. But the key here is just to make sure the cook crews aren't washing dishes on the same days, and you can actually copy and paste and move these two documents next to each other to see how the workload's going to be laid out. And remember, these are suggestions, um, some trips, there might not be a need to set any duties and everyone can just kind of pitch in and get the work done. Let's move on to camp and itinerary. Now on the trip planning page there is a more detailed uh, itinerary link but for this uh, kind of a nice way for those planners to take a look and see what the trip has in store. Uh, the big things are the day of the trip, the camp you'll be starting at that day, the camp you'll be finishing at that day, the number of miles on the river and then the river miles as in according with your river map. Now in this note section, this is the place to go nuts, put as much detailed information or as little information as you'd like. For this first one, you see on your own for breakfast, afternoon hike. The crew then knows to bring breakfast for that morning as well as having their hiking gear accessible for later in the day. Now go nuts with this column, you can put in specific times such as coffee call at 5.30, off the beach by 7. Um, but this is just kind of a good way to, for people to kind of visualize what the trip's going to look like. And finally, a shuttle tab on here uh, lets people know how many vehicles will be on the trip. It can also help you start planning logistics on carpooling and shuttles. But the idea is get as many people in one vehicle, cut down on the cost, and start it's a it's a piece of trip organization that tends to be missed but is essential and needs to get done before the trip launches so just a quick reminder back to the trip planning page uh, we will have more videos coming soon as well as more trip information but there's a lot of good information on here go ahead look through it and always feel free to reach out to the downriver crew we're here to help and provide information as needed. Happy rafting.